my whole life, it's been my dream to do my university education abroad. So in 2021, I created a vision board that I would go to a university ranked in the top five for my subject globally for my undergrad. I made my applications, but when the results season came over, my vision seemed more and more impossible. I got rejection after rejection. Even universities that I thought were easy to get into didn't seem to want me. My friends were getting into universities and I still had no acceptances. I remember feeling so much disappointment and hurt and asking God that I trusted him. Why did I have to go through this? That was when my family reminded me that just how God was with Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in the fire, he would be with me because I put my faith in him through the season that felt like a furnace. Sure enough, after all that rejection, I got a wave of acceptances from some excellent universities globally like NYU and UCLA. By April, there was just one university that I had not heard back from, but I did not expect to get in there because it is one of the most prestigious universities for my course and my application did not even closely meet their very selective criteria. However, that same month, God showed me that he's not limited by the criteria of this world and I got in to study economics and politics for my undergrad at that university, despite what I thought was an unfit application. To secure my seat in the university, I would have to get top grades in my 12th grade and I went into my exams with full faith on God and I rejected all of my backup universities. As each exam got harder, I wondered whether I made the right decision as the fact that I would meet my criteria seemed more and more uncertain. Yet again, God told me that he has good plans for me and sure enough, in July, I graduated 12th grade at the top of my school and in the 99th percentile internationally. This week, I will be going to the London School of Economics to study economics and politics for my undergrad, rated not just in the top five, but at number one for my subject. God showed me that his word in Ephesians 3.20 is true, that with him working in me, he is able to do much more than anything I could ask or imagine. I'm Jacinta, and this is my story of hope.